brothers and sisters of Mothers Olivier and visitors that are on the conference line and YouTube, also Facebook, may the Lord be with you all and happy Sabbath. It is amazing to be here today, praising the Lord and worshiping him. I know I'm glad to be here. But before I start my sermon today, I would like to say thank you to the Pathfinder staff for giving me this amazing opportunity to be here today. Living in this generation, sometimes we feel like we are drifting away from God. We let the thing of this world take us away from God. For example, movies, music, technology, etc. The time we should be giving to God is spent on schoolwork and many things. But when it comes to being available for God, we can never make time. This is the reason why the title of my message today is, Be Available for God. Before I start with the sermon of the day, I would please bow your head for a quick prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this wonderful Sabbath you have given us. Thank you for letting us see another week when some people did not make it. Now that I'm about to preach, I ask that you please let this message be a seed in their heart. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. amen. You are never too young for God to call on you, to be available to God. Being available for God does not mean never living your life. Staying at the church 24-7 or staying on your knees day and night. But it means to be available for when he needs you. You are ready to go. You are needed for a position at the church and have the skill set to do it, do it. The pastor or the elder should not be begging you to do the children's stories. If you can do it, do it. An example of God calling his people and them being available for him is a young man named Samuel. So I encourage you to open your Bible in 1 Samuel 3, chapter, I mean, in 1 Samuel 3, verses 4 through 10. One Samuel three, four through ten. And it says, That the Lord called Samuel, and he answered, Here I am, and he ran into Eli, and said, Here I am, for thou hast called me. And he said, I call not, lie down again, and he went and lie down. And the Lord called yet again, Samuel, and Samuel rose and went to Eli and said, Here I am, for thou didst call me, and he answered, I call not my son, lie down again. Now Samuel did not yet know the Lord, neither was the word of the Lord yet revealed unto him. And the Lord called Samuel again the third time, and he arose and went to Eli, and said, Here I am, for thou didst call me. And Eli perceived that the Lord had called the child. Therefore Eli said unto Samuel, Go lie down, and it shall be, if he call thee, thou that thou shalt say, Speak, Lord, for thou servant heareth. So Samuel went and lied down in his place. And the Lord came and stood and called as other time, Samuel, Samuel. Then Samuel answered, Speak, for thou servant heareth. Samuel was just a young boy when he was called on to. He could have chosen another path to go, but he chose God Almighty. God called many more young people. Another example is Luther Warren and Harry Fenner. God also called them to them, and because of them, we have this beautiful society of young people. They all left an open heart so they can hear God talk to them. You can be called upon if you decide to hear his voice. The environment you live in, it does not define if God is going to talk to you or not. Samuel lived with Eli. He didn't live in a good environment either. Even though Eli was a high priest, his kids were not good. His kids were not good role models for Samuel. That's the reason why God called upon Samuel instead of Eli's kids. Because he chose a different path and decided to be available for God. You can be different also and follow God's word. Ellen Harmon, some of you may know as Ellen G. White, she was one God called on to, so her book can guide us as a seven-day Adventist. 
the Israelites were oppressed by the Midians. But God chose a young person by the name of Gideon to deliver them. I invite you all again to open your Bible so we can read Judges 6, 11 through 15. Judges 6, 11 through 15. Judges 6, 11 through 15. And Israel, was great, and Israel was greatly improvised because of the Midians. And the children of Israel cried unto the Lord. Wait, I'm sorry. Wait, that's the wrong verse. Um, sorry. It's Judges 6, 11 to 15. And there came an angel of the Lord and sat under an oak, which is the Ophir, that pertained unto Joash the Abrazite. And his son Gideon threshed wheat by the winepress to hide it from the Midians. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him and said unto him, The Lord is with thee, thou mighty man of valor. And Gideon said unto him, O my Lord, if the Lord be with us, why then all this befallen us? And where be all his miracle which our father told us of? Did not the Lord bring us up from Egypt? But now the Lord hath forsaken us and delivered us into the hand of the Midians. And the Lord looked upon, and the Lord looked upon him and said, Go, and this I might, and thou shalt save Israel from the hands of the Midians. Have not I sent thee? And he said unto him, O my Lord, wherewith shall I save Israel? Behold, my father is poor in Manasseh, and I am the least in my father's house. David was another young. David was the youngest out of his family, but God chose him, and he became the king of Israel. And God said David will always be available for him. We can't forget about Timothy. He was a youth also when God called him. And if we read 2 Timothy 3, 14, verses 14 through 15, it proves it. Timothy, 2 Timothy 3, 14 through 15. Two Timothy three fourteen to fifteen. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and has been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learnt them, and that from a child thou hast known the holy scripture, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith, which is in Jesus Christ. No matter who you are, you shall always be available for God. Let's use another example of Mary in Luke 1, 28-31, and also Luke 1, 46-49. Let's start with Luke 1, 28-31. To and the angel came unto her and said, Hail, that thou art health, highly favored, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou, thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and cast in her mind what manner of solution this, this shall be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and shalt call his name Jesus. Now let's move on to 46 through 49. And Mary said, My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in, in God my Savior. For he hath regarded the low state of his handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. For he, for that, for he that is mighty hath done to me great things, and holy is his name. Mary, wa Mary was ready to be used by God to bring the Messiah. If we put ourselves available like Samuel, Luther Warren, and Harry Fenner, Ellen G. White, Gideon, David, Timothy, and Mary did, God will call on us and we could change the world. Young people, no matter the gender, no matter the height, race, age, no matter what, be available for when you are being called upon. May God bless you and have a great Sabbath. <laughs>